Howdy bedbugs, welcome to a reboot of my infamous P-Dime series, Permadeath in a Modded Skyrim. So, what's going on here <laughs> is, I've done this intro a lot. What's going on is, you play Skyrim. You play Skyrim as an NPC, and you only have one life. When you die, you die. And that's the, the basis of it. I've added a, a little extra oomph to it. You can, you can play as you know the Dova King, regular old vanilla Skyrim character guy. You can you could do permadeath that way if you want. If you know go, go ahead, do it that way. Or you can play like I said earlier as an NPC where you just you start a life as a trader, trainer, a trader, uh, a farmer. Yeah, I don't know something like that. A bandit or I don't know. And you make a little backstory to him. You do a little role play, and you try to you give that character a goal. Maybe have something for him to achieve or her to achieve. And if they make it, you beat it, or you just keep playing until you die. Uh, but I like to give my characters a goal. Uh, I've never been able to actually get said goal for the character. But anyway, uh, yeah. So this is Karat. No, this is not Karat. That's another character I tried to start this series with. I'm sorry. This is Elton Hammerstrings. Elton Hammerstrings uh, was chastised by his orc brethren. Didn't agree with the very uh, misogynistic uh, super male society that is orc society. And he decided to peace out on his own because he never found any close friends, always felt like an outsider. They even started calling him an outsider. So he's a very humble guy. Comes from very bitter, angry, hurt, you know, place. He's just misunderstood. He just didn't fit in a very adrenaline-fueled uh, society. So he sat on his own. And after a very long, hard journey of working his sweet little tush off, I mean, let's take a quick look at that tush. Give me just, just a minute, guys. Look at that tush. That is a tush. Look at that. That's a butt. That is a very nice butt. He worked that sweet little tush off. And... Got this farm, this manor, this is his house, and it's pretty rad. And now he kind of just wants to, his end game is just kind of become, uh, find a, a family within the community and, you know, a family for himself to uh, be satisfied. So he'd like to have, you know, a partner and, and some kids and maybe make an impact in, you know, like I said, in the community. That can be by a variety of things. Because again, he loves music, he loves art. Uh, and he wants to pursue those things, but was prevented when he was at the stronghold. Uh, he's originally his stronghold. I, is if the menu will work. Way over yonder. It's the orc stronghold over here. I don't remember the, the name of it, but it's near Markarth. And he kind of moved aside. He wanted to get as far away as possible. So yeah, this is his little home. This is really nice, starting permadeath here. I have food and wine and everything I need. So that's my like role playing aspect of this is you know add that little history to make the character you know become attached to him and then when they die it's very it's very sad. <laughs> anyway, we're just checking out our house. It's pretty cool. It's pretty sick. Uh, the other part of this, put my non essentials in. Look at all this stuff. 
The other part of, you know, P-Dimes, Permadeath of the Modded Skyrim, is the mods. There are a ton of mods that I'm running at the moment. A lot of them add uh, little human bits to, to Skyrim, uh, making people prettier for one, uh, making the citizens more immersive, things like that. And then there's other things where I need to eat, drink, and sleep or else I will die. Uh, you can tell by the icons down in the bottom right. I need water right now, and my guy needs to sleep. Poor Elton. Ooh, Carpenter's Bench. Oh, I can, like, make my... Oh, this is, like, Custom House. I've never played the Hearthfire DLC. I'm also playing with the keyboard and mouse, so I apologize if it's all... Bleh, vomit. But, I mean, that's part of the experience, so... Suck it up, guys. Come on. <laughs> anyway. Ooh, Ode to the Tundra Striders. The, the mods are a big part of this. I mean, you can still play this, you know, just regular vanilla Skyrim. You just have to keep track of the rules in your head. The mods do it for you, but the other mods are, there's like Frostfall, a mod where I have to stay warm, like the weather actually impacts me and can kill me. Which is fascinating. And it, it, it's really fun. It makes the game realistic. It adds a ton of immersion to it. And it's just really fun. And I highly recommend playing as an NPC. Never, you know, you start with your, like, your base magic powers, like your healing and flames. But I highly recommend ignoring those and earning them, per se. Maybe your character's a mage and they came with them. Or they wanted to study magic and so they learned them via... Uh, going to the Winter College or something. College of Winterhold, sorry. So it adds a lot It adds a lot to this, and it's really fun. So again, Elton Hammerstring's goal. I believe, is that Solitude up there? It might be. His goal is to have a family and, you know. Solitude's over there, over yonder, so yeah. So yeah, let's, uh, I have a horse. Wow, I start with a horse. Dang. So I use an alternate start mod, which starts you as an NPC, which is awesome. It doesn't start you as a dragonborn in the tutorial bit, which is, which is really, really great. I also, when I play this, I always walk because I'm like an NPC. I'm not in a rush unless I'm in battle or something. But it really, the, the, you can't fast travel either. There's a ton of rules. If anyone ever wants to wants me to make a list, I can totally make a list of like the mods I use in that, but I don't want to right now, so. Elton is just going to check out this water. This realistic water. God, it is cold in this room. Holy bejesus. Look at those ripples. Look at that. That is beautiful. That requires a screenshot. All right, we're not doing it anymore. Anyway, whatever, I got it on video. It's fine. Oh, look at that, holy moly. Oh, you start with the mace, so yeah, we're gonna keep that going. What do I start with? Look at, I got all this jazz. So, you know, he was raised with the, with the orc, so he knows some combat, fortunately. Uh, some other characters I've had do not. Uh, Aren't as fortunate, I should say. How is this salt water? I don't know. Thankfully, I'm starting near solitude, so it's a lot warmer here. So, there's that. But, thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. This is gonna be... A, a slow series. I say slow as in it's going to be a slow burn, not because I'm walking incredibly slow. But because the game is just about basically enjoying your life as this NPC. Or, at, you know, as this character. And not, I have to defeat these dungeons, I have to do this, I have to do that. And that's where, like, the true beauty in Skyrim is. Is just playing this character. And enjoying, I mean, I've had so many crazy moments that I remember 
from doing, you know, permadeath. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a whole layer of gaming that's really fascinating and interesting. And in between episodes, I have to put on a blanket. I am freezing. So if anyone was wondering why I was wandering back to my house, it's because I got some sea salt water and I have to boil it in order to drink and consume it. Oh, no, I make it into a salt thing, don't I? Shit. I need to find unknown water. That's what it is. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. We're going to have to get some water. I guess we can, like, ride the horse to solitude. Oh, my guy's even getting tired. Come on, Elton. Let's, let's, we got to pull this together, man. Okay, our goal right now is to get to Solitude to find kind of pr some provisions. Oh, do I have any gold? I start with 330 gold. I could just straight up take this guy. I have a I have a freaking cart right outside. I also can I'm going to harvest some wood right now. I'm going to gather some branches. And I'm using these branches to make a stone hatchet. Because what the stone hatchet will allow me to do now nope, nope, is to chop dead wood, which I can use to make, you know, increasingly better things. I can make a campfire in that. I need a chunk of wood. We know frost falls in able, yo. I did it. I saw myself do it. Uh, let's do wood one more time, and that should be, you know, good enough. That should be over 10, right? I think. Yeah. And we'll uh, quick save in case we crash, but I haven't actually crashed. This is Skyrim Special Edition, so... Fingers crossed. But if we could have this guy just drive us there. What's up? Do you like my personal little dude? Oh my god, you are. Back and we'll be off. Oh my god, I got a personal little, like... Alfred, he's an Engar. Engar, let's go, man. There used to be a mod where it actually you actually sat and went through the whole carriage ride. I should see if that's still a thing. Cause that was really cool. Cause it was you know immersive. I go really all out with the. Uh, uh, yeah, with the immersion mods, it's just, it, it's so fun being able, like, I made my own game within another game, you know? That's my art. <laughs> Don't mock my art. Oh, I mean, look how sunny this is. Like, holy shit, dude. Okay, I'm feeling a, a lot warmer now with my poncho on. Hell yeah. Here we go, let's do this. We're gonna walk all the way there. We kind of have to. What time is it? It is. Ooh, it's getting close to bedtime. But there's a tavern in here that will more than happily let us refill our our water. So that's pretty exciting. I have a couple mods, too, that add a ton of different landscape elements, like these rivers and that in front of Solitude. It's just a lot. Like, I've added a lot. And it's gorgeous. It's insane. That's why you play Bethesda games on PC. Period. Period. You don't have to be a PC gamer. I'm just saying you play Bethesda games on a PC to enjoy the mods. I guess you have mods now on PS4 and, yeah, whatever. I guess you do, don't you? Yeah. Oh, why am I in first person? We gotta enjoy the character, man. We gotta enjoy our hot little Elton. Just enjoying his nice slow walk. The 
what inspired me about, uh, I guess I could talk about how I first came up with permanent P dimes is I didn't really come up with permadeath, obviously. That's, you know, didn't do that. But. Oh, come on, keep going, man. Uh, I read this article. It was when Skyrim first came out. I don't know who the author was. It might have been on K Kotaku or something, but it it was this guy who was writing about his experience as just playing as an NPC in Skyrim. And he did it prior in Oblivion. And every Thursday, he would write his article or sum up like what he did that week when he was playing as the... Uh, the character, I think it was Norbert or something, the character's name, anyway. And I thought it was such a cool idea to do that, to document yourself as a traveler in Skyrim, because you can, you, you're able to role play, you're able to uh, create your own story, like your own fantasy story within a game that already has world built for you. It's just, you just have to be a person in it and play it out. I don't know what that art article is but uh we're about to witness uh go home and stay there until your mother comes a execution you betrayed us betrayed his high king best she know now you're all hard rog there you helped so if anyone ever finds that article, let, 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 please let me know. I'd like to read it again. It was a series of articles because th he posted, I think, once a week. And it, it was like a TV show waiting for it. It was really fun to read. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is depth of field. Whoosh. We can go first person for this. I know my guy's hungry as shit, but I'll stop for a good execution. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Ah. Uh. So, uh... Yeah, that happened. Uh, Elton is... Little, little, wow, wow, way to be a, a, a meanie. Uh, oh, that's Luna Mothwing. That, you can use that to get invisibility potions. But Elton's feeling pretty uh, upset now because, you know, there's a lot of custom and tradition that was backing that execution. You know, if he just opened a door, that's all that guy did, and do and because the guy opened a door, you know, this whole murder happened, and and it's whatever. Not part of, not not any of our business right now, but. The crew of the Red Waves, my family now. Needed a now. rumor or two. But anyway, we're stopping. I think I can oblige. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Of course. Yeah, we filmed me my water, brother. Corpulous. Do you miss your days training at the college? Remember the Winking Skeever next time your foot's sore. Oh, I guess it's all over. I expected. Oh, I don't know what I expected. Don't know what he's talking about. Good week, my boy. Probably the execution. Anyway, we have to drink. And we'll dine on sweet rolls and tomatoes. You just spend your time here bossing me around and yelling for more drinks. You're practically True. tired already. Yeah, Dad, you ass. Jesus. I already know lots about it. Poor bear. Don't be a silly girl. <laughs> you silly girl. But you always say you want more girls in the bar. I once captained a ship called the Argent ah! Raptor. She struck an iceberg and went down just north of Wind. Hello, I'm Gizly. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Someone's better. My shipmates scoff at my love of finery. But so, it's getting kind of late. Uh, it's like 9-11. I guess we can, like, sit and kind of drink with our... our, our brothers-in-arms. 
Do I have any beer? Do I have to buy it? I do have some mead. I bring my own drink because I'm. I do what I want. I do the fuck what I want. I'm it's a little a busy at the moment. Okay, but Vivian, I'll fine. Start. I'll sit over here. So exciting when new folk come into town. I bet you've had plenty of adventures. Well, I just moved here, so I'm just starting out. You're getting whoa. Someday a gallant hero will ride up and take me away. Don't like that. Or you can just do your own thing because you're a strong, independent woman. You know, I've noticed a lot. There's a, a little bit of sexism in this game. I don't know if it's designed, like, because the Nords are these giant, like, oh, yeah, men. Whoa, you are... You are pretty, Lisette. Holy moly. Hello. Rest your feet and stay a little while. I think we're gonna chit chat with her for a bit. Oh no, but being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. She's my kind of woman. You should think about staying the night. Corpulus keeps a clean in. True, I may play hard to get. Ooh la la. This guy's looking at me. He's looking at me funny. What's up, dude? You mind if I sit down and have a drink with you? For a few weeks, but I've already learned to stay out of Captain Safia's way. I don't know who that is, but I'll drink to that. Forget wine, women, and wealth. Give me a calm sea and a good book, and I'm happy. Okay. I kind of like this guy. I hear Adonato Liotelli staying up in Windhelm. I've read a few of his works. It'd be good to meet him someday. Do you miss your days training at the college? So, this is kind of where the flexi flexibility of mods and your the player's imagination comes. Don't trifle with my ship, my crew, or my captain. I will kill you. Oh, well, alright, never mind. I was going to ask you out maybe for a walk and see where it goes from there but if you're already threatening to kill me and we haven't even gone on the first date then i am going to go but what i was going to say was this is where the player's imagination where your imagination really like has to take off so skyrim obviously does not allow you to be like hey joanna you want to go out on a date right now and then you go out on a date it's not the sims like you have to do that you are handsome as well uh, anyway, uh, I have a mod which lets, you know, anyone follow you, you make anyone a follower, you can marry anyone, but it's up to you as the player to determine how that happens, how quickly, when it happens, so you play out, you know, the conversations between you and your character in your head, you, well, you and your character, your character and, like, the other NPCs, and you, you build this relationship, and... You, you world build yourself, you know, you make a story. I may look the part of so, but I prefer the art of wit to that of warfare. Okay. So uh, that's where this really comes into effect. Like for example, she is pretty and I like her. There's nothing like a good song to lift the spirit in troubled times. And what I want to do is I want to have a drink. Yes. Request a song. Mind if I buy you a drink? No. Sure. What can I do for you? Yes. So she's going to be singing a song, hopefully. And you know, as an artsy uh Musical orc who loves music and playing and performing. The she struck an iceberg and he down. is going to the women. sing along with her. A part of the Red Waves crew. Oh shit! What is a? What song? Is the Dragonborn song? No.
Oh wow, it actually provides music with for you. That is intense. All right, we'll just play four. Yeah, that sounds good. I've already learned to stay out of Captain Safia's way. My shipmate scoffed at my love of finery, but I know him. I don't have an instrument, so. Yeah, woo, woo. So yeah, that's what. Ooh, Welcome whoop. to the center of the world, or at least my brother Eric. So you're bitter. I don't like you. We're gonna go over here. Uh, so that that's what this this uh, series is going to be like. And testing out if you guys like it. Again, it's gonna be a slow it's slow burn, like the first five seasons of Game of Thrones. Oh, you fell through the chair. And, and uh, Jesus, everyone, just stop. Just leave me alone. So again, that's what this series is going to be like. It's going to be hopefully really entertaining. Hopefully some people will find it. Uh, just a lot of fun to watch and enjoy. And we'll uh, probably... After this, probably see maybe maybe next episode if we can get a maybe maybe ask what's her name out because she was pretty. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and enjoying, and remember to stay pretty, yo.